Hey, what's up guys? It's Fancy Bullock here. And I'm at a rest area. I got about an hour, hour or so left to get to the campground. I don't know if I mentioned that in the other videos that I'll be camping. Got all my camping gear packed in here. Also bought a crap ton of wood from some farmer out in Fowler. Right now I'm gonna have myself a nice Polish snack and then get back on the road and get to the campsite. Hopefully I'll do some more little videos and snippets later on. But yeah, hopefully that you guys will enjoy that. And the campground I'm going to is Ludington State Park. All right guys, this is my site. Pot it nicely for me. And go to the edge of it. Pretty big, I'm gonna set up a tripod so we can get a little set up action. Going. Started my first fire of the season. <clears throat> Everything's set up. In order to get it off the ice down there, I had to clear all the snow out of here. I put down three relatively flat pieces and just started the fire on top of that. That way, it'll give it a nice base and a nice dry base to start off of. So, yeah, she's gone though. It didn't take that much to start it. What a beautiful road here. It's Lake Michigan. Beautiful road, awesome dunes covered in snow. Just a great time. Day two of camping. I just came back from the lightsable, lightsable, I'm saying, the lighthouse walk. I didn't finish it just because my legs were getting super cold. I wasn't comfortable with how cold they were getting, so I didn't want to risk getting hurt or anything but yeah as you can see now there was like five or six other families and people here and now they're all gone it's just me just me in the campground I'm gonna steal this wood over here so i can use it to start my fires easier because it looks like it's dry fire's been going for a bit it's about four o'clock now let me try out these uh some ice cleats because last time I tried walking up there I slid down it doesn't look that steep but it gets pretty steep up top so I'm gonna try these bad boys out see if I don't slip as much going up Get pretty decently on here so all right let's do it <sighs> they definitely help getting up here I'm getting down is going to be the real test. It's the campground. I believe there's some sort of walking trail back there. Some nice woodland. Ludington State Park is a really nice place. There's some kids sitting up here watching me the other day. <laughs> It's pretty funny. Look like they're sliding down this hill for a bit. So, because they had the cabin over there. So yeah, pretty cool. And now you can kind of see how how steep it is, Just with how far I went and how little distance I walked. Those cleats are good. Nice. They're pretty grippy. All right, guys, I'm already at that point where I can just physically throw a crap ton of wood on there. Probably doesn't look like much in here, but this fire pit's probably two and a half feet, almost three feet wide, and it's just packed in there. <laughs> I just, I literally just toss the wood on top and it continues burning. There's so many coals underneath all that, so. Yeah, it's been a good night. It's starting to get a little colder now. Because the uh, sun's setting a bit. Notice that. This wool blanket I got off Amazon actually is doing pretty well. It helps because this, this chair is like more of a summer chair, so it it's pretty thin. 
So having this wool, blocking wind from this side, blocking wind from that, keeping my butt a little bit warmer, actually helps quite a bit, so I'm more comfortable when I'm sitting there. Truck did great getting up here. Did great hauling the wood too. Still have a lot. I mean, I've used quite a bit. This used to be, the pile used to be up to here, so about level with the bed, but now I've been kind of picking at it. But since my fire is hot enough, I can I can just throw the, because these round ones are more wet, are wet compared to the chopped ones. The smaller round ones are a lot wetter, so I can throw those on now and not have to worry about this fire going. Tent's all good. A little cold last night because my bed's on this side. So it gets a little cool on this side. But my problem was I think I didn't zip up my sleeping bag all the way. So this night I have to do that. Else it'll be uh it'll be cold again. <laughs> but yeah, for the night I grabbed that wool blanket in there as well to toss on the side to kind of get me insulated from the sidewall there a little bit. Yeah, the fire is just going away. So, this is the park. I've already said that many times. Ooh, it's, getting, it's getting slick now. So, I'm going to walk over to this, these people's site. They were here for a couple nights as well with some kids and a bunch of other people. But they built something cool on their site, which I'll, I'll show you real quick if it's still there. If they didn't take it down. So, it appears they started building a igloo, actually. <laughs> I think it's pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, it took them a minute to make that. <laughs> They're out here with the kids working on it. And I wonder where their tent was. <laughs> oh, this is pretty sweet. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, it's all pretty solid. There's some in innate thing in me that wants to kick it down, but I'm not going to because it's really cool. All right, guys. Well, it's it's not very late. It's only 7:30, 7 o'clock. It's Pretty pitch black, almost everywhere. And since there's no one else in this park with me, just the trees and the wind and the cold, it's kind of creeping me out a little bit. So I'm gonna go and I packed up my stuff. I'm gonna go inside the tent, watch a movie on my phone, and go to bed. Hopefully, if I can fall asleep this early. So yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Guys, it's me again. It's the last day of camping. Oh, I just packed up my zero degree bag. I um, just kind of want to show you a little bit how I got stuff set up. It's not organized or anything. It's just kind of how it is. So I have this self-inflating thing. Um, I sleep on. I put a comforter down, and then I have my thermomast, it's a reflective one. That actually, these past two nights, it got me super warm. The bag, sleeping bag, really helped the most. Heater doesn't help that much, to be honest. Last camping, when I had the heater, it helped a lot. But this time, it didn't seem to help as much. Maybe because I was sleeping lower. Not, and this time, I was sleeping lower on the ground. Versus last time I was sleeping on a cot, which is a little bit higher, so I could feel some of the heat. It's nice though in the morning, so I can just warm my hair and sit here and do stuff. 
so yeah. Not much else to say. The pillow on this thing sucks, but it's elevated, so I threw my little blanket on top of it to get it to be a little higher, a little more comfortable. And woke up to my face freezing. <laughs> Cause it's freaking like six degrees right now. But yeah. I gotta start getting packed up. Throw on some more pants. I'm gonna keep these sweatpants on. Throw my jeans on top of them. Cause it's nice and nippy right now. And then we can start getting packed up. Alright, see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys. Got everything packed. Uh, truck side laying for a bit now. I wasn't able to put my tent back inside of its uh, inside of its thing simply because I don't know. Just there's a tent, but there's the ground it was sitting underneath. And there's a lot of ice and chunks still stuck to it, and I didn't want to just pack it all in there with uh, all that ice because when I get home. It's all gonna melt, it's not gonna go anywhere, it's gonna get moldy inside the tent. So, I gotta basically leave it the way it is for quite some time until it warms up so I can open it up and let it dry out. But I don't know how long that's gonna be. <laughs> Overall, a fun experience, a good time. Really cold this morning, I think I woke up and it was about six degrees outside. So, you guys, campsite. Would recommend <laughs> or do it with a friend. It's kind of boring and lonely by yourself. So I will see you guys later. Maybe I'll do some trips or some videos on my way back. But as far as I know, we're up and out of here. Still gotta eat breakfast, so I don't know what I'm gonna do for that. So see ya. So you guys can't probably hear me, but that's the lake or the river that we usually swim at during the summer. It's super windy right here, so I'm gonna go back to the truck, but there it is.